What's up? Welcome, people of Planet Earth, all planets beyond. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh, and this is Mystery Bag of Monday on this Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Uh, we salute all those who have fallen in the service and uh, defense of our country. So, and all their families, thank you very much. But we are here today to open up some rag bags on this uh, beautiful holiday. I understand if you're watching this later, if you're not watching it at all, because you could be grilling out, you could be hanging out with friends. Totally understandable. I've been doing that all weekend uh, in a covered wagon. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. But um, so the way this works, the way the Mystery Bag Monday works is I have a bunch of rag bags here that a local thrift store makes up and they put all of their random t-shirts and all kinds of other stuff in there. And I buy them and open them and we search for vintage t-shirts. Uh, these bags are generally intended for like uh, handyman to clean up, you know, dog messes or whatever it is. Just a bunch of just rags, using them for rags, whatever you can think of. Um, but I buy them instead, and we search for vintage tees. We've been on a roll for the last couple of weeks. These are pretty good tees. This tee actually right here actually came out of a rag bag. One of my favorite tees. Kept it for myself. Um, so some of them end up in the collection, and some of them end up on the internet uh, for sale, and some of them possibly could be won by you. Check the link in the pinned comment in the chat for a link to our Discord, and when you join our Discord, there's a channel inside there called Guess the Tea, Get the Tea. If you drop a link in that channel of the tea that you're going to guess might be in one of these bags, if that t-shirt comes out, in the right size and all the different details, you'll see the rules on there pinned. Um, if it comes out of one of these bags, it's yours for free. And no matter what tea it is, if it's you know junk high school tea, it's yours. So that's what you guess. If it's Nirvana, you know, Nevermind or Sliver, unfortunately, I have to give it to you if that's the t-shirt you picked uh, from eBay or you know wherever you shop or wherever you look for your teas. And uh, then let's see what happens. Hang out with us until. Uh, till we till we pull something out. Um, uh, let's see. What else do I need to tell you guys? Hey, what is up, Rob? Good to have you here. Glad there's somebody here. I know a lot of you guys might be out and about. And that's totally cool. Totally understandable. I had a weekend out with my parents and my family and my kids and my wife. We had a good old time out in Oklahoma checking out the Wichita Mountains. Beautiful place, by the way. Uh, lovely. I had a great time. Did sleep in a covered wagon. Uh, that did happen. It was all right. Uh, I mean, the wagon was okay. It had AC. The wagon had AC, so nothing you can really say about it being like serious camping or anything like that. But um, it definitely was fun. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm 18. Uh, okay. I see a single stitch T in here. I'm thinking it's a new school one. It's sure enough. Watch out for those modern single stitch on the air apostle. We got that single stitch here. Just heads up, everybody. Too many people new to the game getting burned by those air apostle T's. So we got a triple A here. What's this? Thy will be done. We got a Christian T from the two thousands. Probably not worth anything. Not cool enough for me to keep. I uh, hit up a thrift store while I was gone. Oh, look, we got the purple rain. Yes, we were totally glamping. What's up, Project Ross? Good to have you here. It is real hot here. It was hot in Oklahoma, too. Uh, so I have my AC running. That might be what you hear if it's too loud. We have that comfort colors. Starter running. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm exhausted from driving all day, but I'm a, I've been itching to get into these bags. They've been staring at me for the last couple of days before we left. So hopefully we'll find something dope, something big. I was able to hit up one Goodwill while I was out there. Um, and in, I think, Duncan, Oklahoma. We I actually lived in Oklahoma for a while when I was uh, – a. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, buddy. That comfort colors heat. Um, 
But I hit up one thrift store. That was like the only one that was actually open. Um, we I lived in Oklahoma for like a couple of years when my dad was a pastor of a church in a little town called Temple, Oklahoma. So we went back and visited. Wow. We got that Casting Crowns merch. Oh, my gosh. I really don't want to keep that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of, like, Christian tees. Like, kids can't, like, some uh, vacation Bible schools and all kinds of, lots of that stuff in here today. Not typically good for the bottom line, and, nor for the collection. But if there's a dope Jesus tee, I'm down for it. So we'll see what happens. You know, thug, li thug Life Cat tee. Uh, what ended up being the story behind the wolf shirt, uh, T-shirt, and the Supreme tag you found? So, I actually uh, have it. I actually pulled it out. I thought I had it in here. I pulled it out a couple weeks ago to ask to ask the crew watching, and the consensus was that that it was a Supreme blank that had been purchased and just printed on by whatever wildlife. Uh, organization or whatever, so it wasn't wasn't anything special. wasn't an official. It was official, real supreme, according to those that were watching. But it was not a supreme print, just a supreme uh, blank. Which I didn't know supreme made blanks and it allowed them to be sold. But apparently so. We yeah, had 2016 at Pink Floyd. From the Walmart. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Doesn't look like we're having much. Let's see what's going on in the... Still waiting on high school tees to take off. I'd be rich overnight. You and me both, Ryan. You and me both. You and I would be like billionaires. Um, one, one that you never know. Like, I mean... If, if uh, if these high school tees or high school tees from the 50s or from the 40s, then like like right now, those t-shirts would be worth something, worth a couple hundred, if not a couple thousand in some cases. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I didn't know that they made blanks, and I'm still a little sus, but that's what seems to be the best explanation. The good wills around you guys have Thrifty Tuesdays on the last Tuesday of the month. Uh, there's not a lot of Goodwills around me. The closest Goodwill around me is like an hour and a half, around 15 away. Um, they have a, they have a, every Sunday, select colors are 99 cents. That's, that's their deal. Mm. Good. All right. Next bag. Let's get into it. I think we have one, two, six bags. So pretty good day. I'll tell you what, any of you guys from Oklahoma or like North Texas, because the Goodwill that I went to in Duncan, Oklahoma, literally has t-shirts for 89 cents. 89 cents. Oh my gosh, I was in heaven. Oh my, like they were selling stuff for like 2014, 15 prices. I was like, shoo, don't ever change Goodwill of... Southern Oklahoma, Central Southern Oklahoma, whatever, wherever we were. But crazy prices, crazy prices. I did pick up a few things, nothing crazy, but a couple of things that I think I could move for, for a, you know, for a profit. Didn't want to not pick anything up, so picked up a few things. Somebody, some guy, some cat was in there before I was. We got that O'Reilly Auto Parts on the Anvil. It's a pretty cool T, actually. Um, 2011. It looks clean. I think I'll keep it for now. Anything racing tees, you know, sometimes, you know, there's a buyer somewhere for them for the most part. Um, but yeah, Oklahoma Goodwills. Killing it. The lot in Goodwill was closed. I tried to go in there. Uh, I'd been there before. In fact, I was there on my big thrift trip last year. We stopped by there and picked up a dead stock, like late 90s, like 99 
Dragon Ball ZT. Super sick. Sold for like 150. Yeah, you can pretty much only can go there for personals because they're going to charge it on a leg, but they're going to have a super dope selection. My wife went with her friends uh, not too long ago and found some really cool stuff. So far, we're not finding any cool stuff in these bags, which is a bummer. After a few weeks of pretty cool heat, I wear a garage sale haul on Saturday. Only got five articles of clothing that went crazy on out of the other out of the box items. I, I, yeah, I. You got to get out of the box. I mean, if you're gonna play this game for the full, in the full time deal, you're gonna have to get out of the box. Uh, I mean, it's keeping an open mind, doing your research, all that stuff. Like you got you got to stay on top of things because. Otherwise, it'll get destroyed. Um, speaking of getting destroyed, how is everybody's? Uh, let's just we're just going to have a weekly uh, weekly checkup with everybody. How their summer slowdown is going? If they're making it through, what they're seeing. Um, on eBay, the summer slowdown is real, definitely in effect. Probably worse on eBay than I've seen it in years. Um, but thank goodness, because I uh, recently have sort of I've spread out. I did a video on this about getting on to using Prime Lister. What's this? No, nothing. Um, getting on Prime Lister to use to cross post and stuff. I've gotten. I'm now on. Let's see. Poshmark, Depop, Bakari, eBay, Grailed. Still on Grailed. I think it's five. Right? Yeah, it's fine. And uh, I got a sale on every single one of those platforms in the last three days. So that was good news. And I only, and I only have – I'm only up to a few hundred on on some of them. Some of them I'm only up to like a hundred, uh, maybe a little bit less, uh, less. Hey, Kelsey, good to see you here. What is the summer slowdown? The summer slowdown is typically – so a lot of shopping doesn't happen online in the summertime. People are out and about going on vacation, stuff like that. They're also not buying as apparel as or like specifically clothing as much because uh, you need, you know, you're not buying heavy garments or jeans necessarily in the summertime. So eBay uh, resellers see the summer. as like sort of the weakest part of the year uh, for sales. So, uh, it can always be rough trying to get through the summer slowdown because sales are going to sort of get down. Um, uh, it's it's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I was going to ask about that program. Does it format your photos for you? Um, it does not. Uh, let me just say this. I don't actually use the format uh, photo formatting on it, so I don't believe so. Um, I've had to do – I've had – I've. All my photos work fine except for Depop. Uh, they work fine on Macari because it, even though the square on the, the square thumbnail, you can actually when you, they click on it, it blows up. Um, Posh works out fine. The Depop's the only one I have photo problems with. All I had to do, and all I'm doing now to correct that, is to um, is to uh, have my photography uh, photography guy take every thing in square for everything it's gonna be annoying probably in some cases but it's the way it's, way it's gonna have to work my goodwill stopped me the other day and it was like like we got some rag bags in the back waiting for you if you want to buy them all 22 bags later woo ryan what a killer that's a killer haul dude i had we had a we had something like 13 maybe 11 bags a few weeks ago but man 22 bags Dang. Woo. That's going to be fun. Let us know what you find in there. Always love, always love hearing that. Not every, not mystery bags don't come out of everywhere. So I understand that. We got some more giant Cardinals gear. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! A bunch of we got big dog tea. I mean, if a big big dog tea, vintage nineteen ninety seven big dog. Can't run with a big dog. Stay on the porch. This is big dog. It's pretty clean, so I'm gonna keep it. Put in that lot. Oh, looks like we got a bunch of more of those super 
large teaser, the 4XL Polo Ralph Lauren tee. I'll have to add that to another lot. We'll make up another lot probably. Um, I had to wash those from a couple weeks ago, but those will make you money. 4XL tees. Do I have advice for making offers on eBay? If someone knows comps and I feel like it's way overpriced, how much is acceptable to offer under? Yeah, uh, Jack Frost, dude, like some people complain, like resellers complain about getting super low offers. And like, I get it. It's annoying, but it's not like, it's, it's not like, it's not like I, I'm selling it for that much. People are just offering. I'd rather people offer me like super, super low then like not click on my stuff at all and not offer anything at all. So I'm kind of under the, like, I kind of don't care if people like super low ball me, I'll counter. And if they really want the item, we can try to work out a decent price. So, I mean, for, if I, I'm you, like I just go super low, go as low as you feel like you want to go without being insulting. Because you can be insulting and the person won't work with you. Um, so you just run the risk of insulting people. But if you're trying to avoid insulting people, we got a single stitch camo tee. We have a vintage single stitch pocket camo tee. That's pretty cool. Not worth a whole lot, but cool. Um, I would say most people who are accepting offers are okay or are, are willing to go 25% lower um, than what they have it listed for. Maybe not in every case, but I think it's in a lot of cases. So I would offer some, I'd start somewhere between 30 and 40% and see what happens. See where it goes and see what they, they come back at you with. I mean, if you really want the item, pay for it. Like, we got a Puerto Rican rum tea, vintage on the fruit, like late 90s, early 2000s, fruit of the loom. The Don Q, Puerto Rican, that's, it is vintage, but I mean, that's probably a 15, $20 tee, but it's worth, it's better than nothing. So that's good. All right. Coming into this, this bag, let's see what else we got going on here. It's going to be four days to get through all of them. Yeah. Got a red holiday chip ever see on the, oh, nice. In the first bag. Dang. Yeah, no, no doubt it's annoying for sure. Like, no doubt it's annoying. Like, what I don't care for, but I also understand why they do it, is when, when guys are coming in and they're, what they're doing is they're sourcing on eBay and they just like $5, $5, $5, $5 on all your stuff. And it's like, okay, hey, yo, are you really trying to pay $5 or are you like, do you want the tea or are you just looking to see if I'll bite on the deal? But it's but sometimes I bite on the deal. Some people offer me 10 bucks and on a $20 tea and I'm like, yeah, have it. Or on a, a you know, just so I can get my so I can get my conversion rate up so I can get things moving. So I it's tough. I'd rather them offer it to me and me have the option of taking it. Um so yeah, it's tough. But sometimes it can be insulting on an item that's like a two hundred dollar tee. You offer five dollars. I'm not gonna play ball with you. Like if you were really trying to get the tee, offer me fifty percent if that's what you're willing to pay. Um, and if you're willing to pay at one fifty, and you want to try to negotiate to one fifty, start it. Start it. You know, twenty five percent less than that, and see what happens. See and work your way up to it. It's taken me about four days so far. I go, yeah, I bet so. I get a lot of offers for less than this price, but the activity seems good. Yeah. Ryan, that's what I, I kind of, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I'm probably not going to, I'm almost not, I'm probably never going to accept something crazy low, 90% off. But um, I'm not super insulted or like I'd rather get it in. And in some cases, I might decide, you know what, I'll make someone, make someone's lucky day and get my store moving a little bit. So. Yeah, no, and and if they're if they're playing with you, play with them back. Like if, if that's the way they want to play it, that's their choice. But they also got to know if it's something they really want, they better they better you know 
come back with a counter and start being more realistic. But if they're just goofing, trying to either just be annoying or see if they can get a steal, like, all right, if you're going to offer me $5, I'm just going to take $5 off of my price and counter. If you're going to go back up a dollar, I'm just going to come down a dollar. Like I'm willing to play and I'm willing to give you a deal, but being stupid, you know, you're only going to get so far, but I'd rather you keep offering. So um, that's kind of how I feel. It's, it's a, not all, not all resellers feel that way, but they can only counter like three or four times, depending, I think um, maybe four times total or, Maybe they can only make four total offers on eBay. I don't know about the other platforms, but on eBay, I think it's four total. So including their initial, their counters are three. Yeah. So, but you know, they run out of, they run out of counters. They, you know, there's a couple of people that have been offering me like $10 on a $50 tee for a long time now. And I've, you know, I'm like, no, but they're persistent. And it might be down the road that I'm sick and tired of sitting on this t-shirt and I'll sell it to them. So, and if they get it for that price, I mean, kudos to them for being persistent. <laughs> do offers do anything for the eBay algorithm in terms of recommendation and stuff? I actually don't think so. There's not, I don't, I've not found any conclusive evidence to suggest that receiving an offer for something helps the buyer. Um, it's only when, in fact, even accepting an offer doesn't, I don't think actually changes the algorithm at all. I think the buyer has to pay. If the buyer does not pay, you don't get a conversion. Uh, your conversion rate doesn't go up. So the, the eBay system doesn't do anything, doesn't start you know, uh, pushing your items any more than they did before. So I've noticed that I've, I'll have like three or four solds that aren't paid in a day. And I'm like, all right, great, we're doing good. Um, but none of them convert in the next day is like total trash. And there's like nothing. Um, so you got to actually convert, I think, for the algorithm to actually take into consideration uh, the sales. Because, because, and we do know this from eBay, sales conversion is what is one major factor of the search engine. So you got to convert. That means they actually have to pay. Just getting an offer and accepting that offer doesn't actually do anything, unfortunately. It's pretty annoying, though. All right, bag number four. This one's a heavy bag. This one's more recent. I think I got this right before we left. So far, hardly anything. We got Nope O'Clock. Oh, we got a dead stock T or a, a polo. Or King Pavement Preservation. King Pavement Preservation. That's definitely a no. Somebody's work t-shirt that they got fired before they even were able to put it on or something. Prelim Best VBS 2006. The battle is the Lord's. Amen. Uh, nothing. Let's see the Jesus tees. We're going to have all this stuff. Let's see some dope Jesus tees. Now, I'll take any vintage tee right now. Right now, it looks pretty... Pretty weak. Looking pretty weak. What's this? The fruit of, fruit of the loom tag. The lofties. It's probably early two thousands, I think. Uh, it's a Z power. It's a true. Looks like a workout company or something not vintage or or very close i guess to vintage but not quite vintage age wise Looking like there's some early 2000s tags in here so maybe we'll get lucky and get something a little bit older let's see what's going on here <laughs> yeah I don't actually, I don't, I don't pack at night. All my stuff is out in an office here from my house. So, like, I don't care to hang out here at late in the evening. I do it all during the day. Actually, my sons come out in the morning if there's a big day, like the weekend, like a three-day weekend, and they help locate everything, and I pack and ship. So it's kind of nice for me um, 
to for them and for their have their help to you know get one part of the process going a little bit faster so I can move on to the next thing. But yeah. Polo. But I totally get it. Like especially when those when you have a lot of sales, they pile up. It's a lot of work to get through everything. It can feel like it never ends. And it's just good and bad. It's like good because like, hey, you're selling that much stuff. That's that's good news. But also frustrating because you gotta manage it all. Man, we're getting like killed today on these on this on these bags. Like nothing. A bunch of comfort colors. Some Cozumel t shirts from somebody's vacation. Um, some other random cheapo polos. Not even vintage. Yeah, this bag looks like it's going to be dookie. Just nothing. Nothing. Now, I don't think the the folks at the thrift store that I get these from, they know what I do with it. They know that I look for vintage tees. Um, I don't think they're gaming me on this thing because I don't think they know what a vintage tee was if it slapped them in the face. But um, – Maybe they caught on. Maybe they maybe they're watching. Maybe they're watching right now. Maybe maybe Ozark Medical Thrift Store is watching right now. If they are, what's up? And they're looking for vintage tees, and they're gonna start pulling them from the bags. Well, they start doing that. I'm gonna stop buying. Go somewhere else. Oh, what is this? What is this? Old row. We got a. Got a Dale Earnhardt, not vintage T though, I don't think. I don't know. Double stitch. This looks like it's just a tribute T. It's got holes in it. It's a custom like print. Oh, that's a tough one. Super faded. That's rough. We got we got a towel. Or we got some hand towels. Man, that's a rough bag. Rough bag. Suns are nice, especially for this. They're, yeah, they are kind of the bag ladies. I think they've even called themselves that. All right, I got to find something. Oof. I think I have uh, one, two, three, four, plus seven or eight. I think I have like 15 or 16 to ship out across multiple platforms tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, like I have some work to do. Um, after I'm done here, though, I'm going to take a shower. I've been driving all day. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to chill out. Um, I don't know if you guys watch basketball, but how about them Celtics? Not normally a Celtics fan, but my Spurs are not in the running. And one of our former players is on the, the Celtics. We got that we got that uh, modern uh, single stitch tee. It actually doesn't have anything on here, but it's definitely modern. You can feel it. But um, So I'm rooting for the, the Celtics this year against the Warriors. Got a ton of these Power Z tees. A ton of them. Nothing special about them, as far as I can tell. Tons of these. Somebody, somebody's failed, like independent, uh, independent uh, gym. Probably what it is. Hey, can you help legit check Levi's a denim? Eric, I sure can. Let me hit you with my email. You can send me pictures. All right, here's my email. Send me some pictures. And I'll get to it probably tomorrow morning. Um, I need to hop on another platform. Just do it, Nike. Do uh, do you get anything for referring people? I do. I do get uh something. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember the terms of the agreement of the affiliate program, but it's like it's basically you get a thirty percent cut or a thirty percent. I think it's I think it's 
using my code, you guys get 30% off. And basically that 30%, I think goes to me off your first payment. So whether or not that's a, you know, a, a month, what the heck? Got a custom tee. I am not a simp. <laughs> Kids these days. Um, maybe that means you are. I don't know. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think it's something like 30% off your first payment. Uh, or your, yeah, something like that. Um, I got to ask them again. But it was cool getting a sponsorship video. I just took the money and... Uh, you know, put it towards the, uh, get, you know, using Prime Lister. Appreciate it, Eric. Totally. I love helping people out. Love learning more. Love seeing stuff. I, I get stuff from people all the time that I've never seen before. And it helps grow my knowledge. So love, love looking that over. Whew. What we got here? Gear for sports. See, we got the Sitka Summer Music Festival. But it's some sort of 2009. We are getting crushed today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Like, literally nothing, or almost nothing. Almost literally nothing. It's normally not this rough. And, you know, it's off and on. Some days are good, some days are bad. It depends on what's donated, you know. And that's the name of the game. I don't know if you should look up anything on the Urban Dictionary. Typically, that's a mistake. Why am I not wearing each other with the American flag? Good point. Found a pair of Levi green tag for the first time. Interesting. Um, the only green tag that I can think of right off the top of my head is there was a green tag that was like on some like stay press or corduroy stuff, I think in the late seventies, early eighties. But I, 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 my memory is a little fuzzy. Also, Hey mate, uh, this isn't Australia. Thank you. Uh, it's Hey bro or, Dog. Um, but, uh, hey, I'm wearing a smart investment ca uh, investor T magazine. It's a, all about capitalism, which is basically the American flag. So, close enough, right? All right. Getting destroyed over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Something cool. Anything cool. Just something cool. Whoa. Oh, somebody's mask. That's actually the first time. At first, I thought it was a jock strap. Um, that's the first time I've actually seen a mask in one of these bags. Surprisingly enough. We got the Oklahoma City Thunder. Just came from Oklahoma City, or near Oklahoma City, around Oklahoma City. And we're getting destroyed still, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Way to go. You're watching Gordon Ramsay at Brit on Memorial Day. Woo, 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 woo. All right. Last bag, ladies and gentlemen. This is a shorter one, I know, but I'm tired. I want to hang out more, but I'm tired. Um, so the uh, you guys see this is all it's all stacking up nicely today. Um, so it looks like the uh, the highest the highest uh, say, uh, sold T-shirt videos are doing really well. The, or the hot, yeah, the one that we just put out is doing really well. Um, got a lot of new people coming in, checking it out. So I think you guys let me know what you guys think. I think I'm gonna keep doing those videos. 
And I might even add, might even do a different, a separate video, maybe alternate, I don't know, um, doing the, the highest sales of Levi's on eBay over the last week. Um, I, I, I've said it before, I don't love bringing attention to the dollar amounts of everything because I don't think it's all about the dollar amount. But um, it is interesting to try to see. Oh, uh, nope, never mind. I thought this was something, but it's not. It's Taco Bell, but it's sponsored Taco Bell. Uh, probably early 2000s, well, you know, basically Juco College tea, size medium, just one of the camps. But maybe there's something relatively old here. We'll see. Um, like I said, I don't love just bringing lots of attention to just the dollar amounts of things because, again, it's, to me it's more than that. But I think with lots of people talking about the sales and, it's hard to know like what's really going on in the market. Uh, someone doing a little bit of research and you know bringing a you know weekly or biweekly summary of what's going on and what T-shirts are selling for what and try to actually get evidence that they've been sold for that uh, is helpful for the market overall. Um, so that's what I think. I think that's what we're gonna, I'm going to keep doing specifically for T-shirts and then maybe I was thinking doing it for vintage Levi's um, because some of that, you know, if you don't ever find any one of those items that are worth that much, maybe you never know what's really going on in those markets um, and what's really, really hot. So that's kind of my thought around it. So I don't know. Uh, they seem to be entertaining videos. People seem to like them. And if it's helpful and interesting to people, that's the stuff I want to make. So, that's what I'm thinking. No, 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 no. Man, getting murdered here. Geek fam, thank you so much. Happy Memorial Day to you as well. Looks like we got a uh, vintage Adidas tee on a big old tag. Kind of dirty long sleeve, but you know what? I'll take what I can get at this point. Appreciate the um, super chat for America. Appreciate it for certain. Definitely appreciate it. Um, we're coming down to the end of this bag, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a terrible <laughs> group of bags. Possibly one of the worst six bags we've had in six months. I don't know. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. But I appreciate you guys hanging out. I appreciate you guys being here with me. Apparently, Green Tag is eco for the. Oh, okay, Ryan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a modern. There's like a. Yeah. There is like an eco one. There is a. There's a green tag and has gold lettering. That was. That's one I'm referring to. Uh, the one you're referring to. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's a modern thing. Uh, they, they've been doing lots of fun, you know, funky things with the tags lately. So. But you're right. You're right. It's probably because they didn't rock the flag. Well, uh, I'm trying to see if I have any have American flag stuff just sitting around here, but it's too late now. We've already looked at the bags. But anyways, I appreciate you guys hanging out. I know it's a holiday, and uh, you know you could be doing other things, so I appreciate you hanging out. Um, we'll have some more videos. We'll be doing uh, more of the, the highest sold videos um, later on this week and, and hopefully get around to some other stuff too. So just going to get my bearings back after a, a long weekend and, and – help my uh, customers get their products, you know, just the normal stuff. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>